I just want to thank you all for participating in democracy. This is a moment in time that is truly transformational. I don't know that I've seen the, the state of politics and just an excitement about the future of this country and South Dakota uh, in quite some time. And so right now, yes, give it a round of applause. We have the ability to travel to Chicago a couple weeks ago to participate at the Democratic National Com uh, Convention where we nominated Vice President Kamala Harris to be the presidential candidate for the Democratic Party. With Governor Tim Walz from Minnesota, you know, mind your own damn business, oh, right? <laughs> really inspiring ticket at the top. We've got candidates, uh, legislative candidates all across the state who are pouring their souls and blood, sweat, and tears into their campaigns to make sure that they represent the people of South Dakota and making sure that we move forward. And so I just wanna thank you for being here and participating. We are six and a half weeks away from election day, November 5th. Let me reiterate that, six and a half weeks to get the job done. Now's the time to have really courageous conversations. Now is the time to do the work, not at the end of October. It is the middle of September, folks. Now is the moment that we have unleashed a sleeping giant in South Dakota. We saw the GOP primaries <clears throat> turn out rather unfortunate. Yes, we did. Oh. Right? That is not good for democracy. And so when we have candidates who are brilliant, wonderful human beings who care about advancing education in our state, who care about supporting state workers, who care about freedom to make your own decisions for your body, that is what is going to make South Dakota move into this century. And that only happens Cheers. if we all show up. <laughs>